Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. I just got back from out of town. I visited my family in Dallas and I was actually thinking about doing this video while I was there because I was like, I have a good everyday makeup routine right now. I brought these products when I traveled. I do have a makeup lesson I'm doing for two girls in a little bit. So I wanted to look put together without doing too much. I usually like to wear more natural makeup when I do client work. It really just depends on my mood, but most of the time I really do wear more natural makeup. And I thought this would be a great change up from my normal tutorials. So I'm just gonna get into it right now and also talk about some of the products that I've been loving. So the first thing that I have kind of rediscovered and loved in my kit is my Cover Effects Custom Infusion Drops. And this is the C Plus Lemongrass uh, flavor or you don't want to taste this actually and I've been really into serums for my dry skin it makes foundation look like a million bucks if you guys struggle with like separation of foundation and having it look patchy and dry I really struggle with that with my dry skin and I've noticed ever since using a serum like cover effects I also have the Smashbox primer oil that's been amazing so my acne scars have been flaring up again so I have been reaching for the derma blend foundation and this shade is perfect for me I actually have a really great tip for you guys sometimes when I do my makeup in the mirror like I was using a completely different foundation recently I was using a lot of the L'Oreal dream cushion which I also love that foundation but I did not realize my shade was so different when I was in the natural light compared to when I was in the mirror so right now I decided I was like okay let's test the derma blend shade that I have because I kind of go on a rotation through five foundations the best way I found that out was by doing my makeup in the natural lighting it is just so much different um, than compared to your bathroom lighting. So I would say if you wanna just make sure your foundation is matching, go do it in your bedroom window, or if your bathroom has a window, I am jealous of you. I'm just using a Real Techniques uh, damp beauty blender sponge. Just press that in. I think these are called the Miracle Sponges and I love these. Uh, this one and the next one are great dupes for the beauty blender. I'm sure doing laser hair removal, but I had to stop. There's like a little bit of patchiness of hair here. It hurts so bad. I don't know if you guys have ever done it on your face. It feels like someone's drilling you, just drilling you in the head with a drill. It felt horrible and it like, so I had to give it a break, but now my hair is growing in. So also like the full coverage to cover that. Sometimes what I do too is take the Anastasia Beverly Hills on top of those scarring because it's a little bit more full coverage. I just press that on those areas a little bit onto the place where I hyperpigmentation above my brows and above the lip hello when I go into summertime I don't do as much full coverage but right now I have been enjoying a little bit more of a full coverage look to help with my discoloration so another favorite recently has been a nice cheap concealer which I always love a good cheapy it's the LA girl pro concealer in the shade natural for the longest time I thought I was creamy beige again I just feel like I am colorblind when it comes to makeup because of the lighting in the bathroom just natural has been the color for me I do it on top of the brow bone area underneath the eyes and a little bit above the nose area and shin this applicator makes it so easy and these are so cheap you get these on Amazon for like four bucks I think I usually do eyes before face but I flipped it again it's so funny so don't ever take my word for what I say in videos I switch it mostly when I do makeup on clients I do their eyes first and then face but for me I like to like kind of get face out of the way I don't know it's like more surface area I don't know to take my cover effects uh, contour kit this is actually just the foundation shade in G70 and I use this as a way to warm up my skin tone and to bronze me up. It gives a really soft natural contour. I've been using this method for a couple months now and I just love it. I also bought a large one to use on clients. So what I suggest is just taking a foundation shade that's just two or three shades darker than your skin tone instead of using like a really dark shade to contour with that's way scarier just use something that's two to three shades darker and it just looks so much more natural and again if you have dry skin like me a cream is so much more friendly especially to contour the nose I never like to contour the nose but if I'm using a cream like this it makes it like foolproof to do so even when you're in a rush and it won't look like your nose was hit with a football so just push that in on the areas where you want to have a little bit of definition I'm going to press a little bit of translucent powder by derma blend and I've again really just been liking their products the translucent powder is amazing and I 
really care about what translucent powders I use since I get I think I've said my skin's dry a hundred times but you guys get the point and just do like a light bake I would say like a like a cookie being like in between half cooked my favorite kind of baked so while that's kind of sitting I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna take I'm gonna use I have a love-hate relationship with this bronzer but I'm gonna use it eight anyways the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I don't know if you guys feel this way, but it kind of just clings onto my skin a little bit um, in certain places. I'm going to put a little of that setting powder actually on the rest of my skin. So it helps maybe make that clinginess less. Just it's been a little bit patchy looking. So I've been using a fluffier brush to maybe avoid that. Just mostly focusing it on the slopes of my cheeks and taking whatever's left onto my forehead line. Just a really light dusting of that so that I can play up the cheeks a little bit more with blush. I've been really liking the look of blush uh, rather than a ton of bronzer. Things are changing. Last week I said I like more bronzer. I'm telling you, do not listen to me. Now I'm going to take Becca Highlighter in Opal, a good old favorite. And I'm going to put that on my cheekbones just to give a little bit of shimmer there. Just to bring back some life into the face. Just pop that on and relax there. I'm pretty boring, I have to say, when it comes to daily makeup. I'm taking the Kiko Eyebrow Palette, and I've really been enjoying this. It has a cream and a powder in it, really versatile, and it's just the number one shade. I really hope this isn't the lightest, this would be very dark. But I like to try to straighten this brow out, because this one's way more arched than the other one. This brush is making the sound when it goes across my skin like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know why it's doing that. It's so unsettling. Ah! Now that my brows are very prominent, I take actually the bronzer that I use and I use take it on a fluffy brush. I just love the way this looks, guys. Taking that and putting this in the crease. Bronzers always make such a great transition shade because it always works. Every single time it's just so flattering I also like to take it on the lower lash line which I'll take maybe a different brush because I think I used this side on my lips earlier <laughs> just look up and smudge that underneath just to give a little bit of sultriness I'm almost scared of myself while I do this so just doing that kind of creates a nice halo so that you already have like a quick, almost go-to smoky eye without being too smoky. This is really wearable for the day. Now I'm gonna take, again, Becca Highlighter, which we use on the face. So a lot of things we use on the face, I'm using on the eyes now. This makes an amazing eyeshadow. I love to use eyeshadow out of my highlighters. Highlighting powders, they have like the best iridescence and I just use my finger and get in there and I also put it into the inner corners of the eyes to brighten. I'm scared to check the time right now. Alexa, what time is it? Shit. Speak louder, woman. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the e.l.f. gel liner. So cheap, so rich in color and long wearing. This is real life. Kind of wish I didn't spend all that money on the Bobbi Brown one recently, but it's okay. It's a really good one, too. I am so bad at liner on camera. I'm going to give it another shot for the... Seven years I've been on YouTube, I still can't get it right. I like to do just a really thin line, and I don't like to go all the way in across. I feel like that makes my eyes look smaller, so I just like to do a really thin line to help hide lashes when I go in with those. The most important step I do for every day is an eyelash curler. I have to do this for my eyelashes. They're super straight without them. I just want to show you guys the difference. I know this looks so scary. I just want to show you guys the difference, how much it opens up my eyelashes. And it just kind of makes them go straight up. And then with mascara, it just looks so nice after you do that. The Kevin Cotton one is the best one. I love the Shu Amuro one. Not sure if it's available anymore. I remember it was discontinued, but someone said recently it's available now. Now I'm going to take the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. I've really been liking this one a lot for volume. And I just coat a couple times. Until I pretty much make a mistake. I always coat until it gets on my under eye. 
My eyes are focused on a random sewer outside. I'm taking a really natural pair of false eyelashes because I just feel like zhuzhing up a little bit for my lesson. I'm gonna put this Revlon glue on these Christina Demi Wispy lashes and they are truly Demi Wispy. Demi Wispy usually means they have a little bit more emphasis on the outer corner lash, which I like. Really helps kind of bring out my eyes. So I'm just using some tweezers with the Revlon glue. The Revlon glue is my favorite. Letting that get tacky, where is a mirror? I like that you don't have to wait long for this glue, only about 10 seconds. So that's amazing. Okay, cheeks, I almost forgot, but I'm gonna use the Glossier Paint in Haze. This has been my favorite, you guys. It is amazing. I'm not a big blush person, but if you are afraid of blush or don't have time to do blush, no excuse not to use blush now. They make it so easy. You just squeeze it on your finger like this. They're so pretty for spring and summer. And just put it right on the apple of your cheek and it blends out with no harsh lines. The heat of your finger just melts it right in. It gives this beautiful, just flush color. I love that. Someone on the Glossier page said it looks like you just woke up from a nap. And I just like loved that look. I love the post-nap face. Randomly pick a lip gloss. One of the ones is, lucky winner is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Catherine. This look is so neutral you could do any sort of lip with it. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna quickly spray with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. Woo! Hopefully that does not run. You just want to fan it out so it sets so I can be off. Well, there you have it, everybody. This is my everyday makeup look. I do switch up the lip from time to time, but I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I know a lot of you guys say that you don't see when my videos come in your inbox, which makes me so sad. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button so that it reinforces all these things and that I show up. I want to show up on your page. I don't know why it's not working. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.